Well, good evening, Lupus Warriors, and welcome to another video brought to you by the Lord's Lupus channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for stopping by on tonight. And if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. If you enjoy the content of this channel, please take the time, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for future notifications. Give me a big thumbs up. Also share the video and leave a question or comment in the comment section right below the video. So what is tonight's topic for this video? Tonight we're going to be talking about the language of lupus. Yes, lupus warriors, we have our own language. We have certain terms that we use on a regular basis. And if you're newly diagnosed with lupus and you're new to the lupus community, tonight I'm going to provide you with a few important terms that I took the initiative to put together a list, especially for you, uh, that will help you to maneuver through uh, the beginning of your lupus journey. Okay? And so as you maneuver further, you will learn other additional terms. You will get to know that. But right now, these are very important terms that you will need to know uh, if you're at the beginning of your lupus journey. As we know, you know, with every culture or organization, it has its own language. That's a given. Um, if you work in, the, in a medical facility, they have medical terminology. If you attend college, college students have their own lingo. If you attend church or, you know, any type of religious setting, they have their own terms that are used on a regular basis and that's understood by the entire culture or the people that participate in that particular setting or organization. And so before we can get into um, the language of lupus, what is the definition of language? I love to look up definitions. So I took the time and I found that... The definition of, well, one of the definitions of language is a system of communication used by a particular country or community. For example, if you visited a foreign country, for example, China, in China, they speak Chinese. And so you would at least need to know the basics or an introduction in order to effectively communicate and, you know, learn your way around in the country of China. You will need to know uh, the language in order to ask questions, um, order food, ask for directions, ask questions when you're shopping, book a hotel, you know. There are lots of reasons that it's so important at least to get an intro to the particular language of that country or that community. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, I put together a little cheat sheet uh, just so that you would have an introduction of terms that are you will hear very often used in the lupus community between or exchange between lupus warriors like myself. So get ready, take out your pencil and a sheet of paper Make sure that you write these terms down. They will come in handy at some point. Um, you will need to know the definition and understand these terms as much as you can. It will help in communicating with other lupus warriors, with your family, and especially with your medical professionals, okay? These terms will come in handy. They are very important. So this list is just a few. It's not all inclusive, but this is what you will need to know about, you know, as you're introduced into the lupus community. This is sort of like your introductory of terms uh, that you will need to know. OK, so let's start with the first one. The first one is lupus. Of course, you'll need to know everything you can about lupus, the definition, the understanding, signs, symptoms, etc., etc. You will hear the word flare or lupus flare up used a lot. Definitely get to know what a flare is. Get to know and understand uh, flares. The next term that you will need to know is triggers. Make sure to write that down. Number three is triggers. Um, triggers and flares sort of go hand in hand. You have a trigger, you experience a trigger, which causes a flare. Okay, so those two go hand in hand. Number four and five is pain and fatigue. Make sure you write that down. Number six is brain fog. This is very important. 
um, you will need to know and understand what brain fog is. That term will come up uh, eventually in your lupus journey, okay? Um, number seven, understand, you know, what an autoimmune system disease is or understand autoimmune disorders. That will come in handy. Number eight, chronic illnesses. Number nine, immunosuppressed. That is very important for a lupus warrior or anyone dealing with an autoimmune system disease. Number 10, get to understand your lab work, the blood tests, uh, certain uh, tests, what they mean and why. That's very important. Number 11, a big word that you will hear used in the lupus community is inflammation. Inflammation. Number 12, you may hear the term alopecia. Number 13, anemia. Number 14, Raynaud's disease or Raynaud's phenomenon. And number 15, last but not least, is sun sensitivity. And that's very important to know, um, you know, as you go out, you know, as you go outside to do any type of outdoor activity, you will need to get to understand sun sensitivity uh, based on the activity of the UVA and UVB rays, okay? Again, this is just a little cheat sheet for you. Um, get to know these terms. Look them up if you have to. This is like a glossary. Uh, get to know the definitions. If not, you can uh, go through my playlist of videos. And in each one of my videos, you will find the definitions to all of these terms that I gave to you tonight. Okay. Again, this is just an introduction. Other terms will come as you venture along further on your lupus journey. But anyway, I didn't want the video to be too long. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. As I say at the end of every video, there is life after lupus. My friends, stay safe, stay strong, stay encouraged, stay healthy. And most of all, remember to stay blessed. You are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Okay. And so that will be all for tonight. Take care. I will talk to you soon on the next video. Bye for now, my friends.